Hello and welcome to Software Pulse, building Java desktop applications, and I'm John McNeil. And rather unusually for this video, we're going to take a look at web services. But before I rush into how I built it and all of that and what I used, we're going to start with showing you what the end result is. The reason being is this is likely to be a series of small videos that show you how we got from one end to the other. And before you choose to invest your time in starting to watch these videos, you might like to see what the end result is, and that will help you decide whether you wish to invest the time in watching the others. So without further ado, I'm going to start by exercising the web service. And to help me do that, I'm going to use a software tool called Soap UI, and I'm going to use version 5.5.0. There's nothing special about that version. Um, it's simply the version I had on my machine when I came to do this recording. And what I've done is I've built up a project in SOAP UI and I've got a request called request one. If I just double click on that, you'll see here highlighted, this is the XML that makes the SOAP call to my web service. And the key bit about this is it passes two arguments. It passes um, one that here says Joe and the other one that says 23. And when we run this, we'll get some XML back on the right hand side of this screen, split screen, with the response from the web service. So if I press the green button, we can see the response there it says, Hello, Joe, I understand you are 23 years old. And if we choose to change the values in there, just to show you that it's not smoke and mirrors. So John is 45, press the button. Hello, John, I understand you are 45 years old. So that's, it's a really simple web service. It just takes two parameters, inserts them into a string, returns that string back to you. There's no database connections, there's no authentication. It, it's really trivial. Because the point isn't to build a nice, complicated and sophisticated web service. The point is to show you how to, what is behind all of these whizzes and tools you use to build web services quickly and easily just to show you what's happening at each stage and how it all comes together to produce what is known as a WAR file, WAR file, of which I still can't, I can't remember what it's called and I keep meaning to look and I haven't. But anyway, you get a, at the end of the process of building, you get a WAR file which you can then drop into any web service, uh, sorry, any web server that supports servlets. Um, so I am actually using on, uh, in this example, I'm using Jetty, probably because it's freely available with Java. I think it comes with Java. Um, so the things, the components I've used in, in getting here is I used, um, Java enterprise edition, which you will need to do if you're building web services. You can't use standard edition, which is what I normally use for all my other videos. Um, I've used Eclipse just because. I know that IDE better than any other and therefore that's why I use it. Um, and I find that a good reason to use any tool. Any tool you can quickly and easily get up and running and, and understand how it works is the right tool for you. Um, I'm using Eclipse. Um, obviously SOAP UI, which I've just shown you. Um, some tools that come with um, Java to enable you to package it up into a WAR file, which we'll run through there. And most importantly of all, I suppose, if you're thinking about copying or following as you go along to, to see how it's done, it all runs on the same server. So I've got my Jetty web server running here, I'm um, my Java Enterprise Edition running on the same machine, my Clips running on the same machine, and obviously SOAP UI running on the same machine. So that's it really. That that's all I wanted to cover. It's a nice simple web service. Um, but what we're going to do is in the proceed in, in the following videos, proceeding following videos, we are going to um, build it up bit by bit. Um, so if you're interested, you can follow along. Um, I hope you are interested. I hope this is something you are looking for, and you'll join me in the videos that come. So I'm John McNeil, and this is Software Pulse building Java desktop applications. Thank you for watching.